Hi guys, in this video we will learn how to remove FRP lock on J7 Prime. In order to remove FRP lock on J7 Prime, you have to download its combination file and Odin. Let me show you. Product name SM G570F and as you can see FRP lock is on simply connect your device with USB and and launch the Odin as you can see and select a combination file of that particular device in case in my case it's j7 prime then simply go on start as you can see guys process starts it will take some time so have some patience As you can see guys, pass. So in the device, it's erasing everything. Let me tell you guys, we make combination files of Samsung devices in order to bypass FRP lock factory reset protection and this is a very very simple method as you can see as you can see right now we are in factory mode in my device I'm in factory mode right now as you can see so after what we have to do we have to go in we have to go in setting as you can see backup backup and reset do do a factory data reset it said this will erase all data from your phone internal storage including your Google account simply reset reset the phone erase everything As you can see guys Let the whole process complete Don't interrupt As you can see right now we are in factory mode.
we are in factory mode factory mode is on we are in factory mode so what we have to do we have to download a stock firmware of this particular device in my case it is gj7 prime so i have to download stock room then i have to go back to audin and then flash tar.md5 file so guys after flashing a combination file in j7 prime what we have to do we have to go in download and recovery we have to put our device in download and recovery then we have to open this software is z3x samsung tool pro then what we have to do we have to choose our combination file simply as you can see this is our downloaded combination file so we have to choose this file in pda then as you can see in three dots two images are enabled s boot dot bin boot dot image so what we have to do is to simply go and flush it will take one or three seconds and the device reboots so we have to put our device back on recovery mode downloading mode as you can see guys put your device back on downloading mode then you have to go back and select your original stock room this is my original stock room as I have already downloaded firmware boot PDA phone SCS simply click on this as you can see all four files four files are loaded now in each section boot PDA phone CSC then what we have to do we have to go in in three dot we have to disable s boot then go in pda we have to disable boot dot image as these two images we have already flushed from our combination file so we have to unselect these two images that's it in phone there's only one option it's modem so what we have to do we have to simply go in flush and flush these things this process will take some time I will skip this video then I will resume back as you can see process gets completed flushing done it's erasing let's boot it properly it will take some time as you can see guys our device booted successfully so what we have to do 
go back to our software go back in unlock section as you can see wait for some time it will take some time as you can see guys in unlock section in adb folder it's not it's not refreshing it's not showing any device so what we have to do as you can see my device is stuck so I have to restart it. Let me restart my phone. As you can see I restart my phone. As you can see now it's showing my ADB port it's showing my ADB device now what we have to do don't touch your phone now it's showing our ADB device so what we have to do we have to simply go and and reset FRP As you can see guys, boom, we successfully bypass our FRP. as you can see guys as you can see guys it didn't ask for any google login i hope you enjoyed this video and if you face any problem then comment me thanks a lot